One UI 7 is out? No, but it's confirmed when we are going to see One UI 7 for our phones. Before talking about features, let me share the release date. I have an internal source who confirms when they are going to roll out the One UI 7, but if you're expecting Samsung would launch One UI 7 today, no, it's not gonna happen. Even ICE confirmed, I don't know One UI 7 be mentioned in SDC 24, but it's safe bet that One UI 7 won't be released for quite some time. He didn't disclose the actual release date, but my internal source confirmed this while ago about the release date of a One UI 7. Target November for rollout of a One UI 7, which means we still need to wait for one more month for the rollout of a One UI 7. Google will launch Android 15 later this month, so expect November for the launch of a One UI 7. Although Sam's already delayed the launch of beta version, which was expected back in August. Before talking about the 15 plus new features of One UI 7, Samsung launched the Tab S10 Ultra and it's available for pre-hours with the great trading deals. Check out the prior list here for more details. This is a leaked video showing off the new status bar expanding feature on One UI 7 and there was a large crowd bashing Samsung for copying Apple. I know when you look to the feature, it does seems like Samsung put a dynamic island on Android phone, but let's be honest, it's a cool feature. If it's this way or other, even if Samsung copied Apple, still it is a good feature to have on Android phone. Although Samsung put this status bar on the left, which differentiates the One UI 7 and dynamic island. The second feature might be a game changer for Samsung phones, and that is the smoother animations. People hate what Samsung do with the animations, and Ice Universe was one of the biggest critique of Samsung animations. But even Ice is satisfied with the new animations on One UI 7. According to him, although the animations of One UI 7 is full of bugs at present, it has to be admitted that its response speed is better than that of One UI 6.1, and you can experience it in the beta version. After Samsung fixes these bugs, One UI 7 has a bright future. The visual changes actually affect the icons on the One UI 7. Samsung is revamping the icons including the phone dialer, contacts, settings, gallery, browser and more. The new icons now incorporate gradients and shadows, which gives them a 3D look, and overall the icons are more rounded compared to the One UI 6. The camera design is changed and this would probably be one of the noticeable changes we can see on the One UI 7. Even when we look at the leaked image, including camera modes, quick controls and zoom shortcuts have been relocated to the bottom for easier access. Other options are added to a horizontal bar or a pop-up menu. Samsung changed the icons and made them rounded on One UI 7 but they bring this to the whole One UI 7, getting the more round edges throughout the One UI. Settings and notification panels are confirmed. To improve the Samsung's ecosystem, Samsung will going to introduce the new feature called Continuity Notifications. This will allow you to continue your calls, video calls across your Galaxy devices, similar to what we get on the iOS. Now speaking of iOS, this also looks a copy step but Samsung is giving us the two notification panels, similar to what Apple did with the iOS. You can swipe from the top right to access quick settings and from the left you can access quick notifications. These are just 7 features but what about the other 8 features? Wait, there are more to come. Let's go through all the newer ones. The new background interface is coming, a new control area at the bottom of the lock screen, adjustments of shortcut icons, new battery icons and charging animation bar, added support for 5G SMS messages, new notification pop-up animations and closing animations, added unlock animation, new button touch and page return animation, added many new desktop widgets, more lock screen widgets and added large icons. By the way, these are more than 15 features, but remember I said in the middle why Samsung is making this thing rounded? Well, the next year is all rounded for Samsung. Galaxy S25 Ultra is getting a redesign and getting a rounded corners. And if you want a sharp corners, then you got no other option but to go with the Galaxy S24 Ultra at a discounted price. I have added in this video, you can check the prior list here. On this note, if you find value from this video, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time till then, peace out.